Hello and welcome back my friends, it's me Odo and I am back with a let's play for Little Pony Asardis after half a year of not playing. Um yeah. Um I was playing last year. I was not, not playing, but I was not recording anything, streaming anything, I'm not sure why I want to start again now, um, but anyway I'll do it, <clears throat> because I want to do another achievement, um, and I want you to see how I terribly fail, as I was, um, my last achievement went well, this was the Marinotrium achievement and some other achievements done with Tuscany, uh, which was uh, Florence, Florence, then Tuscany, then Italy, then the Roman Empire. This was quite interesting, and I had learned a lot about late game mechanics and about revolutions. Um, this time I want to do uh, probably the hardest um, achievement. I ever tried, and I'm not sure if I will succeed. And as I'm here on the sub, you can probably see which achievement this is. I will not do it with the sub, it's a run. It's a religious achievement, it is called Bird Way. Um, <clears throat> and you can do it with the sub or with Oman. Um, as you can see, there is a blue um, crescent moon, which is interesting because uh, if you go to Hassa or to Jam or Bars or Timurids, ah, well, you, you see normally you find there a brown or a green one. Ah, Karakujo Brown means this is a Shida country, and green means this is a Sunni country. And there are only two countries with the blue crescent moon, Saab and Oman. This is a third uh, school of Islam, the Ibadi school, and the third way achievement is to um, what's Bikian in English? Hmm. <laughs> I will need this word a lot <laughs> to make all the Muslims Ibadi Muslims. Let's say it like that. <laughs> um, so we will need a lot of missionaries, and uh, it will also be hard for us because we will have no friends because the the non-muslims hate us because we are muslims and the muslims hate us because we are not them not like them um anyway we will hopefully do this um at the end we will have to um Transform a lot of land into Ibadi. So it will take some, some, what's it called? I can't recall. Anyway, um, I saw one run with Msab, and I think Msab is harder to do than Oman. Oman has a better there are a lot of small nations around which we can do probably out. Oman has a very nice um, mission tree which helps us to <clears throat> gain access faster to more countries. Uh, we are not very military. Oman is more or less the least military Muslim nation we are we have a lot of great stuff 
because we um, the the Emirate of Oman was a trading country like Hormuz. Hormuz will be the first target of our conquering because they own the conquests of Hormuz. So we will be the only trading. Um, empire in the Muslim world. world. So let's see what are our ideas. We have local merchant preference, which gives us uh, trading steer trade steering, <coughs> shipbuilding, yeah, um, more sailors and tolerance of humans. That's nice because we will have a lot of people in our country. <laughs> Or we convert convert them. Yeah, that's the, the English word for for we convert them to the right religion. Trade efficiency, another ship idea, which will give us um, cheap, which is great because we will trade more skilled captains, naval leader maneuver. Well, that's okay. A, we will rely on ships a lot, and we will have at least one uh, naval guy who will um, give our ships some edge in trading, and the maneuver will help us there. And we get a an extra merchant. We start with a better navy, which is interesting because we are landlocked at the start of the game. <laughs> um, and uh, we get as a bonus a block blockade efficiency, which is, yeah, well, useless. I'm not doing blockades and stuff like that. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. You can't have any. Everything probably. Um, I think it's possible to form Arabia or the Mughal Empire with Oman. So probably we'll change our our tag to one of these if it's possible or if it's if it's easy to do. I'm not sure. If it's possible. We will have to fight a lot of very strong nations like the Ottomans, the Mamluks. Um, but on the other hand, we will not get involved in any kind of European stuff. We will not have to deal with the stupid Italians and Austria and France and Commonwealth, Russia, uh, nah, probably Russia. Yeah, we will have to deal with Russia because they have some Muslim land there. Let's see if we can see the religious. Yeah, there is a lot of Sunni religions in the world. So mainly all of the green stuff would be the stark green. We don't like the light green and we don't like the mediocre middle light green. <laughs> we like the of the green. I'm not sure if I have to form this into Ibadi as well because it will become um, it will become Catholic after uh, Spain conquers it. I don't know. Probably we'll have to fight Spain. Really, on Madagascar there is some Sunni provinces as well. Ugh. Yeah, anyway, Africa will be one of the first things we will get done. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, let's start with Oman. I 
just started up before, as you can see, 11th November 1444, I didn't really start the game. I was just looking around to be aware of, well, start again, new. Let's see. In our first installment, we will just just look around, and we won't really start the game. Just see what we have to do. Ah, I didn't mention which uh, DLCs I use because I don't have all of them. Ah, oh, but we can see it there. We have the Wealth of Nations, Art of War, El Dorado, Common Sense, Cossacks. Iron of Rome, Rights of Man, uh, Mandate of Heaven, Cradle of Civilization, which is the most important one for us, because it's the one that um, gets the Islamic States done and rule Britannia. I don't have the three newest ones. Um, I don't think that uh, Emperor would be really important for this probably the dharma um would have been nice if i would have bought that before i think it's also nice because it has the suppression of uh rebels feet inside which is really handy charter company yeah probably i should have Okay, I hope you don't hear my kids behind me. <laughs> don't think that we, we would need Third Rome or Diva. Dharma would be probably nice. Okay, let's see. As the Timurid Empire's borders would cede a number of regional magnates and tribal chiefs, yeah, 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 yeah. In Anatolia and Syria, this vacuum has already been filled by the Ottomans and Mamluks, the old regional powers in this area. In this uncertain political situation, tensions are on the rise between the old sedentary cultures of the region and many Turkic tribes that, that dominate its military and political role. Many of the Pokemon tribesmen have started to turn the Millenarian <coughs> a development that might well reshape the future of the region completely. Um, yeah, what will be nice, what would be nice for a game would be when Ottomans and Mamluk don't kill each other, so that they stay more or less the same size and strength. Uh, but this is just wishful thinking. Normally, Ottomans kill the Mamluks, so we will have to be fast to get a bit of the Mamluk or taking on the Ottomans. Probably we can can use the Ottomans at the start of the game um, to get our dirty work done. Religion. Yeah, well, we are in uh, We have a better production and we uh, turn between mysticism and legalism. We will go to legalism very much, although mysticism would be great because it gives us a bonus on um, the missionary strength. So uh, we will have to find a way to get past this legalism stuff. Um, government, we are a monarchy which is nice. We are a feudal theocracy. I really don't know what this means, but we can make holy wars. Ah, yeah, we have these three buttons that we can push for some um, admin and military power, which gives us an edge. This sanction holy war will be really handy. I know what this is. 
Um, yeah, we are in Asia, but it doesn't. So let's look at the. Well, first of all, let's see. We have one rival, Hormuz. I think Hormuz rivaled us every time. And we can only rival Hormuz, so yeah, let's do this. It doesn't, doesn't, I, I think it doesn't matter if we do it or if we don't do it. But Hormuz normally has more than us as rivals. They also have Parsa and Baluchistan as rivals. Could be also Hassa could be some nice ally. I think we probably should try to get them as possible allies. Minus fifty, minus forty six, minus forty. So Hassa would be easier to get as an ally. Let's see if there are some countries which would probably no <laughs> no country move for the hmm. March is only minus ten. March is rather strong at the start of the game. We probably will send one of our <coughs> envoys to Najd. That if they um get Allied with us than with the stupid ball. Yeah, well, Hasa and Nudge, we will try to take them on, our, on, on board. They would also take a royal marriage from Art. So let's start with a royal marriage there. Probably this this is enough to give them the edge to to ally us. This would be great. It would be really, really great to have nudged for Hasa. Yeah, we can get Hasa if we have nudged as an ally. Mushasha. Probably oh, Mushasha. How about you? Territory here. Yeah, it doesn't look like that is going to happen. Mushasha would be really good. An ally, although they will be at war with the Timurids very soon, we will have to be aware of the Timurids. I hope they will get beaten up by someone and are not able to beat up Hormuz. Anyway, we have um, can have eight units. We'll probably, I'm not sure, probably we have less units than than Hormuz. We could invest in more cavalry. On infantry and the second cavalry. Let's give our ruler the chance to. How's our ruler? One four two. We have a trade efficiency ruler. Yay! Military ruler would be nice, but can't make it happen. Okay, yeah, uh, you really can't have everything. Ah, uh, yeah, I know there is another problem because we have here the mask. We have a level two port. We need six thousand troops there. Yeah. Anyway, we will. 
will be no problem. We will almost. They don't have any alliances yet, but they have reconquest, and we have reconquest. You can see this belongs to us, not to Wormuth. So this will be our first target. We probably should really attack them more or less instantly. They have a, a larger army and they are richer than us, but um, if we can win this war and if they don't have any allies, we can't attack them. No, we have to wait one month. Okay, let's send you there. Until the 1st of December. Yeah, and there is also DOS, uh, but they are not really important for us now. They will be killed more sooner or later. Mm -hmm. So we have one, oh yeah, former Arabia, see, we can do this. What we need to know, own Mitzvah, and we already have. Okay. Let's do this one. This was our national unrest. I don't think that we need it right at the start. But yeah. Uh, as I said, we've got some nice mission tree. We need to get to the built of four limit. Yep, there are two which are more or less the same. Yeah, so we get a better moral boost against home. It's great. Manpower level at 20%. Yeah, let's, you know what, let's build. I don't think the thermals will be there. No. Let's get some mechanism before anything else. So there are the three buttons that we can. It costs us military, diplomatic, and admin points. I think this one is nice because it helps us developing our country. And it will be used a lot of times by us. Um, the development of our home country, of our um, capital area, will be great. I'm not sure how fast the um, what it called the institution will come to us, and so we will have to develop our our home country. We will probably, I hope, it will be possible to move the capital to Moscow up if. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, and this gives us uh, claims on bordering heretics and heathens. As everyone is heretic and heathen, we will get a lot of um, holy war. So we won't have to do this. Um, <clears throat> the the spy networks. Yeah, as ideas, we will really need a religious idea because we will have to transform a lot of countries. It also gives us the Deus Wolf, which will lower our um, aggressive expansion and diplomatic points, I believe. 
I'm not sure if I will take it first, but it will be one of our first uh, picks anyway. I'm not sure. Normally, I'll, I really like to start with innovative because it helps so much in, um, in the game. Not not really sure if this will be a good choice because we need villagers also rather early and we can't take two admin ideas in a row. But probably will be defensive or defensive to get um better armies and and so diplomatic will be good as well. Probably we'll start with one of these two, or with offensive defensive one of these two. We will not start with the administrative idea, but rather with a neutral or diplomatic. Probably the diplomatic one. Influence will be nice because we we will have a lot of um we will have a lot of subjects to do our conversions. Yeah, anyway. Uh, what can we see? Ah, yeah, states. This is, uh, since emperor it looks different. And uh, there are some things that I normally do wrong. Still, although I know this stuff at the time, Okay, we have a governing capacity. A governing capacity plus one hundred. We don't need that now, um, because we have a lot of land. This is uh, great. All of the three normal uh, estates: the Lima, Amirs, and Merchant Guilds. So this is the um, the priests, the nobles, and the merchants. They are there in I believe in every um, in every world system. We have also the Dimi here, which are the non-religious group. They can help us uh, get some government as well. I'm not sure if this is okay. Leaders without upkeep plus one. I don't need it now, so these two. Won't be important at the start. This is the old ones, and this is the equilibrium. Is it forty-two? Um, it works as this. Uh, we have an equilibrium, and there it it ends to go. So if equilibrium is forty-five percent. It now goes. If we would five percent in time, so we'll do stuff to get this up. No, we don't need that religious state. I mean, really, I really would like that, but uh, it gives them ten percent of the crown land, and at the time we only have thirty percent of the crown land for ourselves. So. You will have to take away some land from them before giving them more. Also, the loyalty will, will be lowered. Anyway, advisory council, this is nice, but it costs us 10% uh, stability cost. I will do this only after I've uh, reached point one. Normally I want to do uh, one click here. Why do we have a stability cost modifier of plus 50%? Really? Is this, is this really your ernst? <laughs> I really want to do this because uh, with, with one there are some 
some nice um, events that can fire and also we can get parity and stuff. So stability one is always good. I won't take this because I, I'm not sure if I, I would be able to this is not you are not allowed on the table. Yeah, stay with me. Um yeah. There is a nice thing. We get ten percent loyalty, ten percent influence. Yeah, we'll do this. Of course we'll do this. Oversight by clerical ministers, monthly piety plus 0 0.1. That seems also new. Gives them more influence. That might be good. Yeah, we will do these a bit later. Let's see, Amirs. They also have the governing capacity and the military power, but both are a bit early, I believe. No, we don't have the army tradition, so we can't take this one. But we can go. General cost minus 25%, this is really good. Increased levies, I'm not sure if this is okay. This will lower our income, but raise our manpower. But it raises our manpower more than it lowers our income. So yeah, let's do it. Why not? To give some influence, this is good because then the kids are more better. <laughs> so, that we have also the advisor, but we don't take advisors yet. So, let's put it down. Right of council, oh, that's not yeah, of course, we'll take that as well. So, now we have uh, more than 50% equilibrium. In as well, yep. Again, the monthly diplomatic power, we will need this sooner or later, but we don't want to give them land right now. Patronage of the arts will also reduce our, but we gain 15 prestige, yeah, why not? And it gives them loyalty. That's good. Commercial advisory board. Yeah, that's also again this one with the minus 25% diplomatic advisor, but stability cost goes up. Inbred merchant, indebted merchant board. This must be some loans from them. I'm not sure if I want to do this. Probably will need this in our first war, but yeah, let's not do it right now. Free enterprises, yeah, let's also just click to give them some boost. We only have 48% loyalty. So we can take away land from them, which will cost us loyalty with them. So let's do this. So everyone will tick up now because they are at 30%. That's good. Even if they are under under 50%, like the merchants they will tick up, that's good. Uh, and also our crown lands are now at 35%. Then we can summon a diet. Let's do this. So the proposals of the Amirs, they want a castle in Ibra. Ah, we can't afford a castle. 
what do the merchants want? They want a port in a province. Hmm. I mean, I want to to have a port as well, but I'm not sure if we can. No, uh, probably. Um. And what do the dimmy want? Minority new money state. The dimmy field advantage. Many aspects of life they ask that we reassure them of their status by granting them further privileges. Two privileges currently granted to Dimi. Really? I don't want privileges granted to them. This would be these two. I mean, I would have to give them these two. Hmm. This would give them land. We could do this one. What, what do we get if we get this one? We gain loyalty. Hmm. If they are loyal, what does this give us? Florence of Heat plus 1.5. Really? That's not a lot. Probably we'll take the merchants. I mean, 500 sailors are not a lot. Don't have sailors, and we really want this province anyway. So let's do this. We'll have to do some wars anyway. Okay, is there anything else we have to do? Diplomats, we spend some diplomats, yeah. Economy, we have an income of 0 0.5, so we are not able to do these guys. They cost too much. I don't want to do this clicks now. Oh, we have some merchants. Let's see. Hormuz is our home node. So we probably should do this. Gujarat. Transfer trade. Take this guy. And do a Gulf of Britain. Transfer trade. Let's take this guy. We don't have a Ah, yeah, these are clicks that I don't really know what to do with. Let's see. We have two missionaries that don't have anything to do now. Yeah, that's good. Let's start and start the war. Let's go to speed four. I'm not really good with that. Let's see if we find that um, coffee. Tea. Um, not the third way. There it is. Start as an body nation and eliminate all rival schools of Islam. Do not convert to another religion. Mm -hmm. So we will need to stay in bad news. <laughs> hmm. Okay, whatever. 
I hope we will be able to do this. Oh, yeah, I will not. I know. This is all a few little theocracy. We have one more missionary. We have plus 1% missionary strength. This is good. Orange of the true faith. Governing capacity. Blame on loyalty. Equilibrium plus 5%. That's okay, that's rather good. Victor is the pendant, the Islamic pendant to feudal monarchies in Europe. So let's see, what can we gain next time? Strengthen other privileges, manpower, tax. Or trade. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what we will go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's start the game. I think I didn't forget anything. I forget anything. Diplomats we've sent. Army we looked at. Trade we looked at. Technology we can't do anything about it. Ideas. Missions we looked at. Decisions. Force religious unity. Athens What does it do? Missionary strength versus heretic plus two percent. Yay, that's good as well. Establish an enterprise. Nice. One has completed innovative ideas. Ooh, this sounds interesting. Idea cost minus five percent. Probably we should start with. Innovative ideas anyway. We have a lot of um, interesting things to start converting for quiet anyway. Yeah, let's see. Okay, let's see. Do you have already a, yeah, Shamar? Where's Shamar? There is Shamar. And Shamar has a rival, Najd. Really good. And Najd would be willing to. Yes. Probably they can figure something out. So with Balochistan, we've got the we have a minus sixteen. Hmm. How about? Ah, they are subject to merits. They are not in charge of war. Musha. How about Mushasha? They have character building already. Wait for them. Minus forty five. Hmm, how about Basra? They have an alliance with anyone. Basra. They won't ally us. Oh, yeah, they won't ally us. Hmm. Let's improve it. Gain a skill one philosopher at fifty percent cheaper. Ooh. 
Yeah, of course we would have to die. We lost the point of view. Yeah, there it is. Prestige plus one. Hmm. Plus one admin skill. Yeah, this one we can we can afford. Great. Ah, we should do a national focus. I really don't know. Probably we'll we'll keep that like that at the start. I really want to get the military tech for you, but on the other hand, I don't want to go around admin because I want to. <sighs> So, let's see, let's fetch this guy, because in the days we want to declare war on Hormuz, come what may, let's not also fetch this guy. Nah. Why don't you want an alliance now? Didn't you want an alliance just earlier on? Nah, why are you now allied with Hormuz? Really? Eh, nah. let's do that. I really had to wait until the 12th of December because I couldn't declare war earlier on. be able to defeat Najd and Shamar armies. Probably. Probably. Let's see. Much need matched. They have no army at all. Yeah, we are able to defeat them. How about Shamar? They also have only a very small army. Hmm. We could probably try to get them out of the war very far. Kill them and then go after Hormuz. Yeah, this is the only way. Let's do this. A war, why not? Uh, what's that, Masira? Because we can take Masira without losing it because of the war there. Okay, at this point, my dear friends, I'll stop. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope we can see each other again soon uh, at the second part of our, of our Let's Play. Until then, see you. Bye.